We come in peace, drone. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here in Bolton at the Bolton Valley Resort for International Drone Day. Here goes the drone. Drones are so much fun, you get hooked in this hobby. And you gotta be back in the air. You gotta be back in the air. Drones allow us to serve the public in ways that we have not been able to before. Drones are a hot topic in the news right now. Everyone's buying them. The FAA is trying to figure out how to regulate them. And individual states like Vermont have been making their own legislation. It's really exhilarating. There's just no way to describe how fulfilling it is. I just really know I like building these things and flying them. Around the world, there are 180 events. They're trying to change the public perception of drones and show you the drones are good. And they also sound like wasps. Northern New England Drone Users Group is putting on International Drone Day to educate the public and dispel a lot of the the fears people have with the new technology. This is the second International Drone Day, and it's made to spread awareness about drones and the good that they can do. Vermont's first International Drone Day. We really want to get the message out that drones are good. Fun, safe technology gets children interested in engineering, science, math. We use it for mapping and disaster response, and there's many beneficial uses. It enables you to go anywhere. I can see everything that, that it's seeing. We have a lot of members that are photographers, several members that are journalists, two members that participate in search and rescue programs. We have people that just fly for racing. I'll be doing some racing as well myself. Michael, you're good. You're good. Pilot's arm. Three, two, one. A drone is an unmanned object. It could be a fixed-wing plane or a quadcopter. They can be small little toy drones. They can be bigger drones. Because they're unmanned and they're small, you can use them in a lot of places you can't use a manned aircraft. Once you have a starter kit, that's your first drone. And then the addiction starts. You'll crash it and have another one built before you repair that one. I just finished this build this week, and so fingers crossed, hoping for the best. The more expensive ones do have the one piece or unibody. The less expensive ones are great until you crash. I have a speed controller that went out, which is this little black piece right here. You fly it, you're gonna break it, you're gonna repair it. Some hot glue, I'm gonna reattach my antenna protector. I started flying when I was a preteen and um, I also was into photography in my whole life. I've been trying to merge the two. The sense of flying and the speed and the adrenaline of it, it's fun. Especially going at the speed and stuff, you really feel like some sort of acrobat or something. So this is a SenseFlight EB. It is a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, which we fly in order to map different structures and natural events. So it's all about trying to find the next best place to go. Anyone can buy a drone if they've got, you know, $500 to $1,000 to spend. It's all about getting that great spot. Vermont's the, the, you know, one of the most beautiful places to do it. You know, you can just kind of wander around the back roads, photograph and take videos of just amazing things. Sunsets, waterfronts, off mountain cliffs. Cool perspectives. The Mad River, the steel bridges, swimming holes, cliffs. So much scenery up here in Vermont. But I don't want to tell anyone yet because I want to be the first to get the footage. there's a lot of uncertainty about them in terms of privacy and safety. Most of the uses, usage is good. They're very beneficial and I feel the news coverage kind of discuss the more negative aspects of drones. They're really bad spying tools. They're loud. They're very loud. 
anyone that's flying a drone that weighs more than two sticks or butter, like the FAA likes to say, you need to register with the FAA. But yeah, I've got a 333 exemption, which allows me to do this commercially. I utilize drones as part of, part of my business. I operate with several licensed pilots, and I do the photography. Because all the things that are going on with the FAA and commercial use and what's legal and everything. So this spring, they expect the FAA to take some solid action. Ha <laughs> ha!